Oh, hey, you. Oh, what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood, and I was thinking maybe we could get dinner. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry, but I'm just not in the mood tonight. I'm sorry. Does this have something to do with how it went when you told Donna about us? What? No. Look, I didn't even get a chance to tell her. Well, what does that mean, you didn't get the chance? It means I went to tell her, but something came up. What exactly came up? What does it matter what came up? Well, I'm just wondering what was so important that you couldn't find the time to tell her the entire day. Well, if you really need to know, a murderer turns out to be working with Mike on a case he swore to me he wouldn't be working on. I spent the entire day trying to fix it, and I thought it was more important than telling Donna about my love life. I'm sorry I asked. Look, I didn't mean to overreact. I have just had a hell of a day, and I'll tell her tomorrow, I promise. Harvey, you don't need to promise me anything. In fact, I'd like to stay out of it entirely, if you don't mind. Paula. No, it's fine. Because, you know, I, I'm not the one that brought it up. And frankly, I don't like you behaving as though I'm the one making you do this. What's going on here? What's going on here is you're rather keen on keeping our relationship a secret from Donna, when you clearly had no trouble telling Lewis. Are you worried that I have feelings for her? Of course you have feelings for her. But you started having panic attacks after she left you. We wouldn't even know each other if it weren't for those feelings. Then what are you saying? I don't know. Maybe you don't want to tell her because you like being the object of her attention and affection and you're worried this will change that. Her attention and affection. Would you like me to say it, Harvey? She loves you. At least part of her does. And maybe part of you likes it and doesn't want it to stop. And we wouldn't even be discussing this if you had the courage to tell Donna the truth and let her move on. You know, for someone who didn't want to be involved in this anymore, you sure have a hell of a lot to say. Then I'll say one more thing. If what I'm saying is wrong, then you won't have any trouble telling Donna in the morning. Harry, what are you doing here? Can't a managing partner have a drink with his favorite COO every once in a while? He can, but I got a ton of work to do and I'd like to get home before midnight. There's something I need to tell you. Harvey, what's going on? I've been seeing Paula Agard, and not as my therapist anymore. We've been seeing each other. What? What do you mean, what? I'm just amused that you think I didn't know. Donna. The day you made managing partner, you drove yourself to work, not in the red car, but in the black Ferrari Daytona. And on top of that, you told me and Lewis that you had things to take care of that night, but I know your schedule. And I know what happened was you drove yourself straight home from the office, you changed into whatever outfit you thought would impress her the most, and then you went right over to her house and you swept her off her feet. But you just asked me the other night if something was going on because I've been acting different. Because I was trying to get you to open up, but you missed the signal. So I figured I'd just keep on waiting and here you are, more or less right on time. More or less. Well, I was giving you until tomorrow, so you're actually ahead of schedule. Oh. That was Paula's doing. I'm happy for you, Harvey. And I want to hear all about it, but like I said, I've got a ton of work to do and I want to get home before midnight, so. Go on, finish. We talk later. I'm glad you finally told me. Thanks, Don. You too. Don, are you okay? You look like you just saw a ghost. I don't know. I... I just got some news I should have seen coming, and I didn't. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. I'll, I'll be fine. Well, I just got some news that we should have seen coming, but didn't, and it's not good. What is it? We've just been subpoenaed to testify against Lewis. 